Hi, this video I've been shooting at 500 yards. I got a 16 inch square steel target set up, up, up there. I got the cameras on it. Now I bought some 5.56 ammo a few months ago and I want to try 10 rounds in this at the 500 yards. Now I don't adjust my turrets on this one so I don't have the settings in my phone, my dope sheet per se. So I'm just going to have to like aim higher and give it some holdover and see how I do and see how the um, 5.56 works. This, this rifle has the superlative piston in it and um, the scope is only a 4 to 12 power so I'm going to give it a little bit of right wind windage. I'm going to go up um, three things right there, little hash marks. Oh, that was too much. God, I got it. Um, I did not see that. That was crazy. I did not get back on it. It didn't sound like it hit either, so we'll have to check the cameras. That sounded like a hit. Oh, movement. But that might have been me too. I don't know. I think I had my elevation, just not my windage on that one. Sound like a hit. A little low it looked like. Sound like a hit. Yeah, that one sounded weird too. Um, the camera up there should be, um, hopefully giving me a better idea what the hell I did. Oh, no, this, this stuff shoots really flat. Um, normally I shoot the bronze PMC, PMC bronze 55 grain. Uh, this seems to shoot a lot flatter, um, than that. The, the 5.56 is shooting a lot flatter. Um, yeah. And I think this, the... Some of the inconsistency is just me. This trigger, it's the Hyperfire HyperTouch 24-3G. So it has like this spongy take up first and, and I don't like it. It was cheaper than the other one when I bought it. But um, yeah, it, it throws me off sometimes. So, and it's, it's a good trigger, just I'm used to the other ones. And the other ones are a couple hundred dollars, so I'm not gonna be changing it anytime soon. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching.